The Grand Underground was shown off for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, and it's probably the most exciting part to me from the entire reveal. The Underground for Pokemon Diamond and Pearl has been powered up for these games and is now called the Grand Underground. The Grand Underground is a vast subterranean world that spreads out like a maze beneath the entire Sinnoh region. Use the Explorer key you received during your adventure to visit the Grand Underground where you can participate in activities such as digging up valuable treasures and Pokemon fossils or creating your own secret base. You can also visit places called Pokemon Hideaways where you can find Pokemon that live in a variety of different environments. Pokemon Hideaways come with a variety of different terrains ranging from stillwater caverns to volcanic landscapes with different Pokemon living in each of the environments. Among Pokemon that inhabit the center region, there are some Pokemon that can be only found in Pokemon Hideaways. Some of the walls in the Grand Underground can be dug into using a sledgehammer and a pickaxe. By digging into them, you can find things like useful items for your adventure. Valuable Pokemon fossils as well as new Pokemon statues have been added to these games. Build your own secret base and decorate it with Pokemon statues. You can use an item called the Digger Drill in the Grand Underground to build yourself a secret base in the walls. Pokemon statues defined while digging can be placed wherever you like inside the secret base. You can customize your own space and you can adventure together. You can interact with trainers all over the world through your Nintendo Switch's online local system. It's adventure together in the Grand Underground. You can dig fossils together with other trainers. So, while that looks outside, that's also part of the Grand Underground. And then it goes into the contest, which I'm not as excited for. I think the Grand Underground is pretty neat. I like the fact they showed that your items in the Grand Underground can also change what Pokemon appear. So if you are hunting for specific Pokemon, you can make it easier by filling your secret base with Pokemon statues of that type, presumably. What do you think about it? I think this is the most exciting feature they've shown. Maybe wish there was a little more like the Battle Frontier shown, but this is nice. This is something nice that I wasn't expecting them to expand on.